Hi guys, Rich911 here, the Gaming Bear. I've been asked by uh, James Donoghue this time to do a, uh, a a KV3 review. I helped him and I did the uh, the review of the uh, of the Panther, the M10. So, yep, yeah, let's have a look at the uh, the KV3. It's a, a very nice, solid, heavy tank with a big gun. So, yeah, let's have a closer look. It's a, a nice looking model, quite a huge tank. And it's got a lot of uh, a lot of armor. So, what are we going to compare this to? And I would say the closest we've got to it is actually the uh, the T29, which is another huge tank with an amazing turret and great armor. Right between these uh, these two tanks, let's uh, call up Tank Inspector and run through some uh, some profiles. Right, here we are, KV-3 in the uh, tank inspector. So, let's have a look at the uh, the armour. Frontally, you're looking 100mm, but uh, and 80 on this area, but the equipment of 155. Equipment of 120 on the lower plate. This area, 130. The turret, 253. 134. 140, or else an auto bounce. 200, so very tough turret. Yeah, ricochet. But what uh, you may have is a shot trap effect where the shots coming in this way hit here and possibly at the right angle can bounce down into this very weak plate, which is only 60 mil. So that's a shot trap effect which you can get sometimes on the, on the Russian tanks, and this may be one of those that you can. Looking at the other uh, side armor, if he's a if you've angled, hundred and eighty mil, hundred and thirty, and one forty, auto bounce into the tracks, another bounce. Well, just soaking. Okay, angle like that, two hundred and eighty mil, hundred and ninety, hundred and forty, one eighty, one fifty. So solid. Coming along to the side, hundred and thirty mil equivalent. 90 mils. So this is this is where you need to uh, to aim for if you're coming along the side of it, where it's got this whole area of spaced armor with the, uh, the 90 mil behind it. So that'd give 133, and the rear coming to 100 and 86, and the turret 133. So you don't want to aim at the turret if you come around behind. This is where you want to be aiming. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the T29. Nice looking tank, another big gun. It's only 105 instead of the uh, the 122. Let's look at the armor profile. Same angling. The front plate 102 mil, but it's the equivalent of 160. So it's it's less well uh, well armored than the uh, than the KV. The lower plate 122. So it's actually more um, susceptible to uh, lower plate damage than the uh, by about 10 10 mil than the uh, than the Russian. And the side, even angled similarly, you're looking that you can actually uh, penetrate this area with the 175mm gun uh, penetration. The tracks can soak things up, but come along the side, whereas the, uh, the Russian had uh, the whole area was covered, you've got these areas which are only 76mm, or the equivalent there of uh, 80 or 90mm, and this rear area. 51 mil behind, or the equivalent of only about a 50 to 55 mil. So it's very weak. This is where you want to be shooting in the rear section, which has got the engine behind, which could set this on fire. And it's got that 20% chance of uh, catching fire because of the petrol engine. Now the side, you're looking 200 mil to pen pen there. Only 120 to pen this area. Coming around to the rear, only 51 mil, and a large target for Artie with only 30, uh, 38, or say you need 50 mil of pen to, uh, to get through. The uh, cupola at the top, because of the sloping anglings, was 102 mil, but it's the equivalent of 144. So you want to be shooting at the rear of the turret, so it's only 110. So it's, that's the best place to shoot from behind, if you can't, uh, if, you, if you're unable to shoot into this, this area here, marked in green. Right, let's look at uh, some stats of the vehicles. Swap that back over, and let's go to the uh, the, the mainly main important stats. 
Right, the pen of the gun is 23 less. So it's, even though it's uh, a 122 mil, it's got uh, it's only got 175 mil pen. So it's it's okay. It's it's nice, but it's not uh, not as as good as the, uh, the penetration on the on the 105 of the T29. So which has got 100, 198 with standard, but the the damage the alpha is 390, almost 400 for the uh, for the KV instead of uh, 320 for the uh, the American. So you can get in, roll in, fire, get one shot off, and you you're up. If you can pull back, that's how you play this. Pull back into cover. Look at the. Uh, so you've got the calibre, so you can get more overmatching with the, the 122 in comparison to, uh, to the 105, so that's one positive. The shell velocity is a negative, even though it's a bigger shell, slower derp, it's an arty gun basically, it's been put in a tank, and so it only fires at uh, 780 metres a second, so you've got to lead the target even more, so that's something you've got to be aware of. View range is 20 less, 40 less, so it's only uh, 440 instead of 480, and the camo, camo rating is actually better on the KV-3 than it is on the, uh, the T-29, so that's that's good to know. Maneuverability, uh, actually on the move, move is 0.4, so it's down uh, 0.4 on the T-29, and it's 0.44, which is very, very bad on the, uh, on the uh, KV-3. So you need to be closer, or give it time to uh, to settle, to get, to give it the rest of time to settle. And hope that it uh, it actually hits. Uh, aiming, yep, it's pretty good when you do, you're traversing and moving, but it's it's better than the American, which is uh, quite nice. But on the move, the American has it. So if you can stop and just uh, traverse uh, the whole all the turret, you, you and preferably not as much at all. Let that gun settle because you've got an aim time which is actually horrendous in comparison. The, the, the aim time is th th a second, just over a second more than the uh, the T29, at three and a quarter seconds as opposed to uh, 2.2 seconds. So, the, yeah, you, you're at a disadvantage there because of that. Now, look at the, uh, the gun elevation. You've got nine degrees more elevation, which is absolutely sensational. But the gun depression, you lose three to the uh, to the American, so he's got ten degrees of gun depression. You've only got seven. Gun traverse, yeah, it's quite uh, quite bad. So you could be uh, circled by by faster moving tanks more easily. And uh, okay, the, the the chance of the hitting rate is actually uh, higher with the, uh, the the Russian it's by 0.3. So. For some reason, I think possibly the uh, the American drivers don't allow their gun to settle on time, and so the KV3 either gets close or allows his gun to settle more. So you actually get more more chance of hitting with the Russian statistically than the American, which is uh, very good to know. Win rate is 49.6, whereas the American is 50.17. So it's, it's just under 50%, whereas the American is just over 50%. Right, the average experience 10% worse, so 330 instead of 360. and 7 is quite a bit, 166 uh, less, so it's 15%, 20% uh, worse. Yeah, these figures show that uh, that's, that seems to be the case, so that goes along with the, the, the win rate. And you, you stay in the battle for two seconds longer on average with the KV3 than you do with the T29, which is just a fraction better. Power to weight ratio is only 11, so you're less mobile on the battlefield, and you can actually feel it because of the extra the extra weight, power to weight ratio, and uh, you you're not able to get around. Combining that with the, uh, the lower uh, forwards, lower top speed of 32 instead of 35, the T29 has got more manoeuvrability and more tactically uh, good around the battlefield. Reversing two degree two um, kilometers an hour slower going backwards so it's only 10 said 12 terrain resistance the, uh, the the Russian has it on uh, soft and medium terrain so the T29 could get bogged down and the uh, KV is able to get out of the situations which is quite nice to know now looking at the uh, running the vehicle your 
going to earn less. You're only going to earn 13,300 in this in comparison to the T29 who will earn uh, 14. But because the, the ammo is less expensive, you'll actually end up almost 2,000 credits, again, better off in the KV-3 than with the T29, which is really brilliant. Looking at the armour, yeah, you've got uh, more, more armour on the hull. We've run through th all those, run through... Uh, let's have a look at the... Uh, armoured sections. The ammo rack is more susceptible to damage. Turret's the same. Fuel tank's more susceptible. Engine. The tracks are better. And the gun is more uh, more solid. So you can take, in certain ways, more of a beating than the uh, than T T29. So let's close this down and get into, uh, into a game. Right. So been retesting this and I find that the, uh, the the view range isn't as good as I'd like so I've put binoculars on to see if that'll make a difference so I've taken the vents off added binoculars to uh, hopefully improve the uh, the long range sighting so you're more useful to the team because I've been finding that you just can't spot things and you're taken out by by people who you can't see so hopefully it'll help to redress that balance of it it'll take longer to aim but it'll it'll mean you can actually have things to aim aim at and you will put yourself in such a bad situation and at those ranges you'll then be able to use your armor more effectively to, to bounce shots so let's see how it works right i'm gonna head over to the uh, the west and uh, let's see what we can do see who comes with us support the team we're mid table tier seven yep sort of even 52 percent chance so yeah very even game our opposite number is another kv3 it's going to be a little bit slower now taking the vents off but the binoculars will hopefully uh, counteract that so let's see let's see how it goes i don't know what's going to happen this is all live so uh, by the time you see it it's not going to be live but it's live at the moment So yeah, M6 using me for cover. <laughs> I think he needs it. Oh, but it's stuttering. I'm so happy to have uh, 24 frames a second as opposed to the uh, the eight I was getting earlier today. So uh, yeah, thank goodness for that. Let's get down here, use some cover. Got some nice spotters. Zoom in. Enemy armor is destroyed. I couldn't wait. But that was okay. Yeah, I didn't wait for the rescue call to close. I thought he's someone else is gonna kill him. So I won't <laughs> so we'll have have a look uh oh, don't run into him. And stay here, stay in cover to be able to use the uh, the armor that we've got. We've now got the vision. Let's wait for him to pop back up again. That would have been so nice. That would have just taken him to pieces. They're pushing hard. Stay up with them. So, yeah. Using this as, at a slightly longer range, it'll maximise the, uh, the armour and uh, with the binoculars allow you to take those shots and pick off uh, the, the weaker enemy like going for the, the lion going for the gazelle and go on Let's see if someone's going to spot if the binoculars come up and he's going to block me direction. I tried to line things up. Enemy is hit. <laughs> Stalin, Stalin steel. 
is that those magnetic shots <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's better if you don't aim. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Not aim. <laughs> you don't aim and you hit. Oh dear. Wait for the binoculars to come up again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, lady. Spot someone for me. Where are you? I want to dip you in the face. Oh dear, that was that was hilarious. No, stick it with that. Oh, he's dead. That one didn't go through. So this range. So sorry, he's dead. And now we've got uh, premium loaded. Will we need it? Let's just push. It's very. I, I don't. I don't want to risk it. Stay in the push. I don't want to risk things too much. GT88 over there. Oh, they must be going behind the house or something. I need someone to spot. I need the E25 to move. Let's try and get the lower plate. Something is behind something. I need someone to spot. Even with these binoculars, it's not as good as you'd hope. It it definitely needs them. You'll spot them in a minute. He might be hiding behind the arty. That might be what I'm hitting instead. Trying to make the most, there's a lot of, lot of corpses there. We didn't penetrate their armor. Nice. They're pushing on our base. Let's head back. I don't want to have cap. I don't want to lose points. I won't do damage. I've only done 327 that I know of. It's going to be a bit more, I hope. That's load standard. I, I don't use uh, load skill. Oh, it's coming that way. He's going to be dead in a minute. Let's go T28. T58. Not just too far. 
nicely done by the team. So that's what uh, you could do. I, I would. I've, I've lost so many games by, in certain circumstances, getting too close with uh, higher tier opponents and just getting ripped to pieces. So let's have a look. 1200, 1200 damage. 500 spotting, which is so unusual in the in the KV3. Three kills, nice. Yeah, I hadn't realised I, I was at that level. Th 1100 from more than 300 metres, which is brilliant. 28,000 credits, very very impressive. Yeah, I'm so. I'm thinking the binoculars is the is the way to go. So. Um, yeah, oh, so that amount of credits, oh, so I would have lost, to replace those, I would have lost 4,000 credits. So, okay, yeah, but that was taking out the JT-88. So yeah, I would I would have lost 4,000. But yeah, nice, nicely done. So yeah, that's, that's how you could play it. So the binoculars worked out, spotting things that you wouldn't have spotted, and putting things back into your... Uh, like you can see with the view range, standard with the crew, uh, 357, which is useless at this level. But putting the binoculars on gives you an effective range of 446 metres, which makes that difference, so you're not at a disadvantage on the battlefield. And you can allow the rest of your team to shoot and take your opponents to pieces and win the game. So yeah use it more strategically use your armor from distance so if anything does hit you like I, I didn't have anything actually hitting me this time usually you do and for that sort of range their shots would have bounced so your shot the 122 would have gone through use premium if you need to and this is what you can do this is how you can win with the uh, the kv3 so um yeah i hope you like the review and if you have got any any questions or any other reviews you'd like me to do just just ask so uh, thanks very much and good hunting thanks guys